so you've been looking at the log files in that directory, you've been looking at the log files, you haven't looked at the tree files yet. So now you can look at the exciting tree files. What I'd like you to do is use the program called Tree Annotator. I'll show you where that is in a minute. It's in the same place as the Beauty and the Beast files. Um, and because you've been looking in Tracer, you have already decided which is the best, which is the best tree. That's good. Um, oh, which is the best model. Um, and you already have decided that the burning of 10% is about right. Now, you can actually in Tracer change the burning from 10%. And sometimes, I think as you found, if you, you know, suppose you, you didn't run it for long enough and actually you need to cut off more percentage, then you can choose to do that. Um, so you should make a tree using tree annotator. And then you should display your tree in fig tree, which as you've been noticing already, it's quite easy to open the trees in fig tree, but there's actually other settings in fig tree to put the time scale on it. Um, and the important thing to notice is what the, um, the last date is, because you have to set that in fig tree. And this is this date here, um, 2014.342, which is actually the 6th of May. And because of coalescent theory, you actually, to make it display properly in tree, fig tree, you have to reverse the time scales. And I will show you how, how you do that. Um, the other thing you will find in your in that directory of runs I have done already is the discrete trait runs. Um, and, uh, and there you will be able to find runs done with region and host. So in the directories which are called um, discrete traits, so ne next to the plain ones, you will find those files. And um, when you open, when you make the MCC trees in tree annotator, then open those ones in fig tree, you'll have the opportunity to colour the trees by discrete trait. If you're going to make a, a, an MCC tree in tree annotator, first, when you first open tree annotator, and it's in that same directory as, as, um, as beast, um, it, it will ask you to specify the burn-in. So here you click the specify burn-in as number of trees and we're going to ignore the first thousand trees. That's because we ran each of my files that I ran were 10,000. We're ignoring the first 10%, so that's 1,000. One we'll leave the posterior probability limit set at zero and then you just click run. Oh, you choose the file you want to process, which should be a dot trees file and then you need to specify an output file name, which I usually specify as the same name as the input file name, but then I change the extension to .tre. Click run and it will do the things. Okay, let me just show you where tree annotator is. And then, so tree annotator is in training software, software, beast 180, and then it's this one here, tree annotator. So you've got the one tree. Um, have a look at um, the other trees I have made for you already as well. These are, so you have a choice here. Either you can remake them with the tree annotator, um, or you can use the ones that I've already made with the tree annotator. Um, and <coughs> these are the ones I've already made have got the host on as discrete trait or the region on as discrete trait. And look at those in fig tree. Um, <coughs> I'll just show you if you want to, if you want to make them yourself in tree annotator then the data for that is in discrete traits outputs and then you're looking for the trees files within here <coughs>